Welcome back people. In this video, we are going to learn how to create the functionality of removing the item from the cart. Okay, so for that, we just have to create a function and we already have all of the functions listed down in our functions.js. So all we're going to do is just add a new function called, let's just export it also, sport const let's name it as remove item from cart it's always best to keep your function name uh, based on what action they perform so it's easy for you to look at them and understand what they do when you look at them so they become self-explanatory so we put the uh, what we're going to need is the id with the help of the id of the product we'll be able to remove the item from the cart so all it's going to accept is just a product id then the next thing we do is basically get the existing card data so either we can pass it here or we can just you know, get it over here get the existing card data okay and then we have it in local storage so we'll just pull it off okay so we'll say let existing card is equal to local storage dot get item and the name of it is woo next cart so if you do an inspect element and if you check applications the name is woo next cart so that's what we are trying to pull off pull out and we just need to pass it like we did last time so i think we already did it here so why don't we just copy it right that'll be much better okay Oh, okay. I need to put an arrow over here. Okay, so we've got that. So we're passing this uh, object that we have here. And once we do that, if there is only one item in the cart, so we have to handle that part first, then delete the cart. Okay, so we'll say if existing cart which is this dot products so remember we inside of this we have products products dot length so if the products dot length which is an array so if this array uh, length is one which means there's only one product in the cart then all we want to do is just local storage remove items so we'll say local storage dot remove item to remove the item uh, basically delete the cart remove item so this will delete my local storage data from here okay and then just return null because we don't want to return any other thing the job is done if it's just one item then just remove it you don't have to do anything but if that's not the case then check if the product already exists in the cart so if it's an existing uh, product that you're trying to delete okay so for that what we need to do is we'll say const and we'll say product exists index so if you remember in our previous videos we had created a function called is product in cart right which is right here on top and that's the beauty of it you know when you create functions when you divide your functionalities uh, into smaller pieces they can be reused so you can see now we need that information so because we created a small function right here we can actually use this function again we can reuse it so it saves our time and plus doesn't add unnecessary quotes over and over again so is product in the cart you already have that function let's see what does it accept so it asks for existing product in the cart and then it also asks for the product car, uh, product ID. So we already have the existing cart and we want the products out of that, so which is this, this array right here. So we want the products and then we need the product ID which we will get when we call this function. Okay. So now this will give me an uh, index and we are going to check if product to be removed exists so how do we know that so 
if you go back to this function this goes ahead and uh, uh, returns uh, minus 1 if the product does not exist right so all we have to do is just check that if minus 1 product exist index which means that if product exists index is greater than minus 1 this means that the product uh, exists in the cart okay so if it does exist then the first thing we want to do is we'll get the product that we want to remove so product to be removed is equal to existing cart dot products and then we're going to go ahead and pass an array uh, get the uh, product index so basically is going to go ahead and check that particular product with the index of it so with the help of the index we'll be able to get that product okay so existing card has products and then if I say products and then if I say uh, zero for example like if I say let me just get rid of this if I say products and then put the zeroth element which is the index of the element I would be able to get the that particular item from the array so let's say if, th if it is this one then I'll be able to get this product and that's exactly what we want we want the product that needs to be removed and that's what we're doing so we're saying existing cart, uh, cart dot products and then whatever the index we have found so if we found the first one this will be equal to the one and if you found this uh, second one which is the third item then it will be two so that's how we'll be able to find which product we're supposed to remove okay awesome then we want the quantity to be removed from the total because remember we have a total right so we have a total products count and I want to remove the item so what, I, what do I want to remove so I'll say const quantity to be removed from total is equal to product to be removed which is this dot quantity why why am I not saying one is because if we check this has a quantity already right so we'll go ahead and remove the uh, quantity from the total okay now we want price to be deducted from the total so price to be deducted from total is equal to product to be removed dot total price why because this has a total price right here so we'll say total price okay so you got that next up we need to remove remove that product from the array okay so once the user clicks on this of course I don't want this product to be inside of this array so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this item uh, but first we will remove the quantity from the total because uh, you know we need to remove seven out of this then we also need to remove the total price of this product so which is 126 from the total and that's exactly why we are creating these uh, constants so we can use these values and, and remove them from the cart okay so we also want to remove the product from the array and also update the total price and the total quantity which we've just you know uh, found out what it's going to be so total price and total quantity okay awesome so first we're going to do it what we're going to do is we'll say updated cart because once the card is updated we need to set the value into our local storage as well as we need to update our context api which is our um, global store right so we'll say updated card is equal to existing cards so initially the value will be equal to the existing card that we've just pulled out from the local storage and then we can say so we're taking the reference of this basically you know and then we're saying products dot splice product index to be removed right so where is it 
product exist index here. And then one. So what splice does it if you check the JavaScript function, splice JavaScript. So if you check it basically removes the item from the uh, array. Okay, so you have to pass uh, the index and how many items you want to remove. So I want to go ahead and remove, let's say for example, I want to remove the this first item. So I already have the index of the item that I want to remove. And how many items do you want to remove? One, just one. I just want to remove this one, which the user clicks. Like, let's say the second one, yeah. So that's how it's going to remove that, okay. And then I also need to update the total. So what I'll do is I'll say updated cart. So updated cart dot total products count, which is this equals updated cart dot total products count minus quantity to be removed from the total, right? So what we're saying is basically the new total products count will be equal to this, which is this, minus this, which is the quantity that we need to remove, right? So let's say if this was this item, and which is this one, then we're supposed to remove two out of 18. So this will be 18 minus two, okay? Awesome. Now we'll say updated cart dot total product price. So we also need to update the total product price from the total, right? So we'll say is equal to updated cart, I'll just copy this basically, minus price to be deducted from the total. Okay, so first we went ahead and taken, took care of the quantity. So we go ahead and uh, deduct uh, those many quantities. And now we're going to deduct the uh, price. Okay, so if it was uh, this product, so 18 minus 2, which is what we're doing over, doing over here, and uh, then total price, product price will be this minus this, which is what we are doing over here. Okay, I hope it makes sense. Awesome. So we've done everything. Now the updated cart will have the updated values. So all we have to do is just update our local storage with a new value as well as the um, context, um, which is our global store. Okay, awesome. So we'll just say local storage, local storage dot set item and the name, the key name for the local storage is woo next cart and then we just need to stringify it before updating. So JSON dot stringify arrow dot is it another stringify? Okay. Awesome. Uh, just the updated card. So we'll just update the card after <coughs> converting into string format. Great. And just return the updated card okay otherwise if the product doesn't exist in the cards and then, then why do we need to do anything with that we'll just return that product right so then we'll just say existing card which is this one return existing card so we are doing our validation because uh, you know if someone tries to make any changes um, programmatically or from somewhere else, then we have our validation in place. It, it won't work if if something goes wrong somewhere. Awesome. So we've got a function built. All I have to do now is just use this function uh, when the user clicks on the arrow icon, right? Great. So we go back to our cart items container. And uh, if you notice that we have uh, Mm. Yep, cart item. And uh, this is the icon, which is the this cross icon. Okay, and we have already added an event called the on click, and we the, the function name is called handle remove product uh, click, and we are passing that function from its parent, which is 
parent component which is cart items container okay and we have defined this function here the reason for this why we didn't over uh, do that over there is because you know we have already pulled the context and everything over here so we can just use it here it's up to you if you want to use it there but i prefer to do it here uh, that is much better okay now what we're going to do is uh, okay so this there's just two things we need to do the first thing is go ahead and um, uh, update the cart uh, in the local storage and for that we've already created a function which is this and the next thing we need to do is update our context API as we discussed okay so let's do that it's simple so const updated cart is equal to remove remove the item from the cart okay and then just pass the product ID because we already have the product ID here okay so we'll say product ID of course we need to pass this product ID into this so how do we get the product ID well we would get that from here okay so that's how we get it and uh, if we go over here we have the item so I can just pass this right here item dot product ID okay so basically we are inside of the cart item we are calling this function we are passing the event as well as the product ID and once we are in, inside of the parent component and we are just passing this as, this function as props we're just using it here and then we have the access to the product ID available so this function right here if you remember is going to return us the updated card no matter what so once we get the updated card uh, all you have to do is update the context because this function is anyways updating the local storage if you remember right so all we have to do is just update our context API the global store that we have using context API of react okay so we'll just say set cart and just put updated cart here that's all we have to do okay I hope everything works fine let's have a look okay so I want to remove this one click on that there you go now we have nine seven plus two nine and that's what we that's what's happening over here and you can see that item is gone right so let's do that for the first one now okay so notice that this item will go off once I click over here and the quantity is going to be deducted from the total and the total price is going to be deducted from the total product price so let's click there you go so you can see it's deducted now and now we just have the one item and uh, the price is also changed which is 2 18 multiplied by 2 is 36 that's what we have here and since everything is connected to each other all of these three things because we are uh, putting all of the updating that in into the context uh, as well as in local storage it becomes way easier for us to uh, not having to maintain these things because react is doing the re-rendering part the moment you update something the moment you change something the component gets re-rendered and you get all the values that you need isn't that simple awesome the last but not the least what you need to do is just add a product button over here sorry proceed to checkout button uh, over here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the next video awesome so I hope you did like my video if you did if you like the work that I'm doing then please do subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the subscribe button and also do follow me on github you just hit the follow button over here uh, also to support my work that I'm doing open source you can also give a star to this repository and um, do follow me on Twitter as well so this way we are connected and you get the latest updates and um, I think that's about it then I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye